we arrived at Mandeville Auditorium on the campus of UC San Diego, a few musicians were already there tuning their instruments. Soon more arrived, and then they kept coming. In no time, the stage was packed with hundreds of people. They're here to rehearse Berlioz's Requiem. Stephen Schick is the symphony's music director. To describe the Berlioz Requiem in general means to talk about one of the biggest and grandest pieces ever written for orchestra and chorus. The piece calls for the largest ensemble the symphony has ever worked with. How large? Well, one of every three people in the auditorium will be a performer. So when you have a room like that, and a third of the people there are actually making sound, it's an extraordinary feeling. We'll have a dozen timpani. We'll have four brass bands. We'll have our normal chorus, which is 120 voices. We'll add 70 to 80 members of the San Diego Gay Men's Chorus. We'll have a full orchestra, including eight horns and the, you know, the complete component of as many string players as we have and, and everything. And we'll put them all together with a, with a tenor solo and then me sitting in a sort of quadrant, cordoned off in a box in the front conducting it. Usually there is one tuba in an orchestra, not for this piece. This piece has four extra brass bands. Both, there's two of them that have two tubas, so there's four tubas all together in this piece. The four brass bands will perform from the sides of the theater surrounding the audience. So the audience at some point will literally be in the middle, but you know, we're in San Diego, we have the concept of the splash zone down, so the audience will be in the Berlioz splash zone. As the symphony's principal percussionist, Fiona Digny says there are times when the timpanists are encouraged to play as loudly as they can. Yeah, I think it will be the loudest acoustic sound that this hall has ever seen. So, oh and I actually forgot my earplugs, I should, <laughs> I should go and get those. David Chase is the group's choral director. When he and Schick started talking about doing the Berlioz Requiem, he wasn't convinced they should take it on. I talked to him off the ledge for a while and then we uh, went ahead and jumped and it was, uh, it's been great. Chase says composer Hector Berlioz was a dramatic figure. He's that wild romanticist uh, who did, who, who thought very highly of himself, uh, who put all of his emotion in everything that he did. The Requiem is the Mass for the Dead in the Catholic Church, but Chase says the performance is not a religious experience. In fact, Steve Schick says it's more like heavy metal music. Because every single moment in this piece is poised to lead you to a powerful statement. You know, it's basically just power chords and decibels. Though Schick is quick to point out, there are plenty of quiet moments in the piece as well. For the big moments to work, there have to be lots of small moments. So I really don't want to leave you with the idea that this piece is nothing but bombast from the beginning to the end. In fact, really the reverse is true. There are many, many sweet moments, and most of the piece, honestly, is quiet. And what that does is, in essence, to take, as in an archer's bow, it pulls back so that you are, you are accustomed to softer music and you are then pulled back so that when the loud music comes, it makes an enormous impact. The La Jolla Symphony and Chorus will perform Berlioz's Requiem this weekend at Mandeville Auditorium on the campus of UC San Diego. Angela Carone, KPBS News. Hey, hey.